Hello friends, so today we will be learning few important terms related to C programming. Now we are all familiar with the word key, which means important or it's a device which is used to open anything, example your house, doors, etc. Same goes for the programming. Keywords are the reserved words which have predefined meanings and are used to do some function. The examples of the keywords are int, float, care, double, etc. Int is used to store integer. Float is used for no storing numbers that are decimal. And care, just as its name suggests, is used to store characters. Now let us move to variables. Variables are the memory location in the computer's memory which are used to store data. Example int c. Here c is the user defined variable which is used to store data. Now there are few important rules while we name the variables. You cannot name them anything because few words are already predefined they are keywords they cannot be used as variables variables just as its name suggests they can be changed anywhere in the program the first letter should be an alphabet which can be uppercase or lowercase it can also be underscored but underscore is not preferred as some system names start with the underscore they are listed there dash underscore file number underscore iob etc now let us move to the term constants now just as its name suggests again constants are the fixed values which do not change during the execution of the program for making a term constant we write the keyword const before the data type or by using hash define examples are shown int const a is equal to 1 or hash define pi is equal to 3.14 now data type now we break the term data and type and you get the definition it is the type of data they are keywords which are used for assigning the type of data the, the data types can be further classified into primary, derived, and user defined. The primary are int, float, care. As I said earlier, integer is used, int is used to store integer, float is used to store decimals, whereas care is used for characters. Now each data type has its size. For int it is 2 bytes whereas for float it is 4 bytes and for care it is 1 byte. Now we move to derived. Derived are the data types which are derived from the primary data types. They consist of arrays and pointers. Arrays is a collection of multiple data which are of same data type. It is a for example we can say a group of characters that is also known as string or a group of integers etc. Pointers. They are the variables that are used to store the address of another variable. Basically they point towards the address. Just as its name suggests they are pointers. They point towards the address. And others are user defined which are defined by the users. They are structures which are also defined by the keyword struct and unions which we will learn in the further lectures. Now, there are standard I.O. functions. The I.O. stands for Input Output. Printf is used for output, whereas scanf is used for input. Now, people often get confused between printf and scanf, which is input, which is output. So basically, how we can remember is scanf. It st t stands for scanning. You scan something, means you are taking an in input, whereas printf stands for output. When you print something, you are displaying something, you are giving an output. Hence, just as its name suggests, scanf, that stands for scanning, is 
for input whereas printf that's for printing it stands for output now for scanf that is for the inputs we need some format specifiers the format specifiers are as follows percentage c c stands for character percentage d stands for integer you can remember d for digits and it stands for integer percentage f float that is used to store decimal numbers percentage s stands for string and the only unique one is the percentage x which stands for pointer now down i've given the example of how we use the printf and the scanf statement for the scanf we use the following format specifiers here i've written printf enter a number which displays it's the output and the user gets the statement to enter a number when he enters the number the the line gets scanned as i said scanning is used for the line gets scanned scanning is used for the input and it has the format specifier percentage d that stands for integer comma and ampersand that's the address we are calling the variable n and the inputted number is stored in the variable n this is how you take an input and display an output